I'm here at CES 2024 with Powerfoil. Now, it's actually a pretty simple thing. It's basically solar panels, but they don't have all those grids on it, so they look very indistinguishable from like a piece of plastic. So if you integrate it into your product, like let's say a pair of headphones, for example, we got a speaker right here. So looking at the speaker, it looks like a standard speaker, just all black around. Oh, it's a speaker. Now, obviously you can charge it, but right here on top, you can't tell, this right here is the solar cell. As you can see, it just looks like a matte black piece of plastic. Now, if you integrate it in the product, it'll charge just by leaving it right here. Now, I can actually show you a little bit of a demo right here. So right here, we have three different options. This is indoor lighting, so if we press that, we can actually see how much energy it's getting from the light. This is you know, a demonstration of what you would get inside with just some regular ambient lighting. Now, the middle one is on a cloudy day, as you can see, it goes up a bit and then actually increases it, charges it a bit more. And then of course, on a really hot sunny day, bam, look at that, excellent charging. Look at that, very, very nice. Now let's move on over here and look at some of the sample products that they have. We have some over-ear headphones, as you can see, looks normal, you can't tell, but there it is right there, solar panel. Leave it out in the sun, leave it in your room with the light on, trickle charges it, and it's always ready to go. Now, of course, if you're just trickle charging it with your light inside of your house, you might have to plug it in every so often if you're a super heavy user. But if you're like me and you just use them a couple hours a day at the gym or something, just throw them in front of a light or in the window, you're gonna be ready to go. Next up right here, this is actually a wireless headphone case. Now, I don't know if I can pull this one up. It looks like it's attached on here, but the solar panel is on the case itself. This is what it looks like. It's right here. Now, let's see what else we got over here. Right here, if you happen to do some work, telecommunications, microphone, headset, same deal going on here. As you can see, they can brand it to whatever they want. You can also make it so it's a regular looking solar panel with the grid. Next up, looks like another speaker, same thing. You see, they can just cut it out to the shape you need, get it to fit, looking great. Once again, very, very simple. What's over here? We got more stuff, oh my God. A helmet, look at this, solar cells. Very cool, very cool. Now I feel like I'm kind of getting repetitive because it's all basically the same thing. You can't really tell it's here. Solar cells, I don't even know what this is. What's a hund? A dog harness, okay. Okay, it has a tracker, live tracking, smart zones, all that stuff. Another good thing because the dog's running around outside in the sun, might as well charge it up. Uh, what's over here? We got markers. Okay, I don't think there's anything solar in here. Are these actual markers? Should I sign this? You know, couldn't come here without signing this. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing this all my solar energy. Boom. Roderick Views was here. And then come over here. This is one of my favorite applications because it's so simple. You've probably seen some Samsung remotes on the back, on the bottom, they have a solar panel. But this one, it's integrated right here at the bottom. As you see, that's a little piece over here. We have this whole part right here has a solar panel. And this is a really good application because you lay the remote down, it charges up with the ambient lights and it just doesn't have to charge that much because it's a remote that barely uses any power whatsoever. But you know, every so often doesn't work. You gotta replace the batteries. This gets rid of that. Amazing. Now, one thing I would like to see, I'm hoping somebody out there is listening. I wanna see a electric toothbrush with the solar panel in it because you know what it's like brushing your teeth it died. You have to go plug it in before you can finish brushing your teeth or manually do it, which no one wants to do anymore because it's the future. Crazy. That would be perfect. Put it like in a charging base, whatever. And then over here, we can see a few more remote samples. As you can see, solar panel right here. Now this one is actually even more interesting. This whole, like literally the whole front of the remote, this whole piece right here is the solar panel. So the whole remote is picking up energy. So it's gonna charge even faster than the other ones that just have this little small piece. And if we come over here, we can actually see one with actual buttons instead of capacitive buttons. As you can see buttons, we have it cut out for the solar panel. And as you can see on the bottom, this is what it looks like. Got the connectors here. Whoops, I took it off. Anyways, very, very nice, very thin, as you can see. Like a piece of paper, more like a piece of plastic, but you know what I mean, very, very thin. And then also, as you can see right here, customized texture. This has like a snake skin and you can actually feel it and it's still a solar panel right there. Very, very impressive stuff.